Hey, I know you're probably wondering what I'm doing out here in the blowing snow and all that stuff. It's so cold out here. It's about, I think it's like three degrees out here right now. And we've got a ton of snow. But tomorrow, uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff on my smokers. I'm going to have several of these running. I've got to do some turkeys and a pork loin and a spiral cut ham and some pies and stuff for friends and family and our family for the hop for Thanksgiving, which is tomorrow. And uh, I'm not going to be doing that today. I'm not going to show you that today. But what I am going to show you is a drink that I make. Some people call it apple pie moonshine. Some people just call it apple pie drink. Personally, I like to call it my sniffling, sneezing, aching, coughing, stuffy head, commode hugging, laying in the front yard naked medicine. So let me get through with this snow and we'll get inside and I'll show you how we make that. Okay, I got all the snow shoveled out there. Got everything ready to start smoking that stuff tonight. We got quite a bit we're gonna be smoking tonight. So we're gonna get started on our apple pie, moonshine, whatever you wanna call it. You know what I call it out there. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start off, we're gonna put in one gallon of apple juice into a big pan. Just gonna pour it over in here, the whole gallon. There's gonna be some really good stuff here. All right, I'm gonna set that right here. We're gonna save these jugs, because we're gonna need them, you'll see. All right, I got a cup and a half of brown sugar that I'm just gonna dump in there. I got a cup and a half of white sugar that I'm just gonna dump in there. This is not keto friendly, so be prepared. I've got 10 cinnamon sticks, just raw cinnamon sticks I'm gonna drop in there. And now I'm going to put in about 10 whole cloves. All right, got 10 of them. I'm just gonna drop them in there. Now, we're gonna add two cups of water to this and we're gonna get it on the stove and we're gonna get it to a boil and we're gonna boil it, just let it boil for about 30 minutes. And I'll be back and I'll show you how we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the water in, the two cups of water in this and get it on the stove get it boiling. So be right back. Okay, our apple juice and our cinnamon and sugar and everything, they it's boiled 30 minutes. We just pulled it off. Now we're going to add in one gallon of apple cider. It's still hot, so we're going to just add in this one gallon of apple cider. Okay, and we're just gonna give it a good stir. And you want to, you'll notice whenever this gets about 30 minutes because your cinnamon sticks will start unwrap, unrolling really good. That's when you'll know it's about done. And it reduces itself, the apple juice will reduce itself a little bit, so. All right, we've got this all mixed up. Now, we're just gonna let this sit here and it's got to cool completely. It's got to be room temperature when we touch it again. We'll let this cool to room temperature and I'll be right, be right back and we'll show you how we finish this up. We'll even try some. Okay, our apple juice and our apple cider has cooled down and now we're gonna do the finishing touches on it. And what I have here is I have one bottle of 190 proof Everclear that I'm gonna stir into it. It's totally cooled down you have, you have to make sure it cools completely before you start adding this. And just to go along with the Copa, this is for ages 21 and older. Okay, we've got that added. Now the next thing we're gonna add is one pint of Captain Morgan's 100 proof rum. And we're gonna stir that in. Stir it in real good. Okay, and we're just gonna stir this up really well, and our apple pie moonshine will be just about ready to go. This makes good Christmas gifts. Every time I make this, I have people 
all of my friends and everything showing up with their quart jars, wanting it, and I give it for Christmas gifts. This stuff is really good, but you want to keep this away from the children because this stuff is stout. Tastes just like a, you're eating a piece of apple pie, but it's got one hell of a kick. Okay, get this stirred up. Now, what I've got, I've got a pint jar here that I've got a funnel in and I'm using a coffee filter. And what I'm gonna do, I'm going to, because you've got some pieces of uh, cinnamon stick that are still floating in this. And I'm just gonna pour this in there. And it takes a little bit for it to run down, but that's okay. And you just wanna dip this in. And the reason I said to save those gallon jugs is because you can also put it back to the gallon jugs and then just fill pints or quart jars whenever you need it. So let me set this down here and I'm gonna let this and I'm gonna go ahead and get these done. And uh, as soon as we get this done, I'll be back and we're gonna taste test some of this. Okay, there's what it looks like. And in, in each pint, I always put a cinnamon stick in it, you know, to give away. But I store it in these gallon jugs that uh, apple cider and the apple juice come out of. You can put it in the refrigerator and then if some, if you wanna give some for Christmas or whatever, your friend shows up and wants to take some home, you get a pint jar with a lid, throw your cinnamon stick in it, just pour it over in it. it makes great gifts and that eggnog you're drinking, throw it out. You're gonna to wanna, to, you're gonna to wanna to drink this. But I got me a little bit here, now I'm gonna give it a taste test. That tastes just like you're eating a piece of pie right there, a piece of apple pie. Yeah, buddy, that stuff's good. Well, I hope you give this a try because I'm telling you, you will definitely like it. Everyone have a wonderful Thanksgiving and let's remember our military personnel that are serving all over the world. They're not gonna be home for Thanksgiving. Let's keep everybody in our thoughts, all of those people in our thoughts and prayers. Let's also keep in our thoughts and prayers all the people working in law enforcement that's gonna be working on the holidays. I wanna send a special thanks out to all of them. Everyone have a happy Thanksgiving and uh, we'll see you after the holidays on the next video.